In this screencast, I will show you how to profile a JVM that is running in a Docker container. We need some application to profile, and so I've checked out the Spring Pet Clinic project and added a simple Docker file. As a base image, we'll use Alpine Linux with Java 17 and copy the Spring Boot executable jar file that was produced by the Maven build into the container. Then we create a group and a user, both named Spring, to run the application and ask Docker to use those for the remaining commands. Finally, we have the entry point command that starts the executable jar file. When we start the container, we have to bind the port that the server listens to inside the Docker container to a local port so we can access the application in a browser. Let's start the container with this IntelliJ IDEA run configuration. Here we can see the Docker container in the Docker desktop window. We can now open the Pet Clinic application in the browser. What if you want to profile this JVM? The profiler needs its own connection to the profile process and the only port that is open for incoming connections is the port for the web application. One way to profile is to copy the agent files into the Docker image with such a copy command, then add a profiling VM parameter to the entry point command and finally, expose the profiling port in the start command of the Docker container. This is not convenient and it may not be desirable to maintain such a Docker file in production. What about attaching to a running JVM? JProfiler can attach to locally running JVMs. Let's have a look. The attach mechanism in the JVM only supports processes that are running on the same machine as the same user. This is clearly not the case for the JVM in the Docker container, so it's not listed here. To address this problem, JProfiler has dedicated functionality to work with Docker containers. At the top of the Attach dialog, there is a container switcher. By default, no container is selected and the JVMs that are running directly on the host system are shown below. By clicking on Select Container, you can show all Docker containers that are running on the local machine. We select the Spring Pet Clinic container and confirm the dialog. JProfiler now copies some files into the Docker container. This includes an agent with a native library that is suitable for the detected architecture. In this case, we have a Linux 64-bit architecture with a muscle runtime library. JProfiler downloads the agent on demand if it has not already done so. Also, a helper application is copied that allows it to list all JVMs that are running inside the selected Docker container. Here we see the JVM that was started by the entry point for the Spring Pet Clinic executable jar file. We can select it and start a profiling session. When we start a session from the IDE, JProfiler gets the information which packages contain your source code directly from the IDE and sets the call tree filters accordingly. This is important because the call tree filters should focus on your own code. Let's start the profiling session. We can switch on CPU recording and make a few requests in the browser to generate some data in the UI. Back in JProfiler we see the various HTTP requests and their contained call trees. Because we have started JProfiler from the IDE, we have source code navigation back into the IDE. What if the Docker container was running on a different machine? If you want to profile a container that is part of your staging or production environments, that would most likely be the case. Let's go back to the Attach dialog, this time directly in JProfiler and not from the IDE. At the very top, you can choose to attach to a JVM on another computer. JProfiler creates an SSH tunnel to a remote machine and can then offer the same functionality as when attaching locally. I've already configured an SSH tunnel to a demo machine where the Spring Pet Clinic application is also running. Now we see the attach dialog for remote machines. In addition to switching the user for whom JVMs are shown, we can also select a Docker container. 
JProfiler now uploads all required files through the SSH connection and lists all JVMs in the container. This time we started in standalone mode and the profiled packages have not been calculated by the IDE. We select them manually from the package browser of all loaded classes. So this is the Spring Pet Clinic instance on the remote Docker container. If we start a session in standalone mode, the session settings will be lost, unless we make the temporary session permanent. JProfiler offers this option when you close the window or when you invoke the Save Temporary Session action from the main menu. Then we can start with that session configuration instead of the Quick Attach dialog and use the same profiling settings each time. Docker is a central tool for modern deployment strategies. Being able to profile JVMs locally and remotely is an important capability that makes you a lot more productive when analyzing runtime problems in your Java applications.